So, we are back at it again with yet another Madden 20 gameplay. And we are back again with Eli just showing you the back. That's all you get to see, baby boy. Just the back. We have active on offense Eli Manning, Jerry Rice, and Eric Dickerson. We are still running our New Orleans offense. Defensively, we're running Carolina's playbook with the 5 2, 3 active D linemen, and Aaron Donald, Demarcus Lawrence, and Warren Sapp. All three of those guys are equipped with run stopper Aaron Donald and Warren Sapp. Um. No, Mulligan. I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, Warren Sapp has pass rush elite, and both Aaron Donald and Demarcus Lawrence have edge threat elite. And then 5-2, hoping to create some good pressure. So, I take a look. My opponent looks like he has a Niners theme. Well, he has Garrison Hurst. He has Patrick Willis. He has Stevenson Young. In a Niners stadium, in Niners uniforms, figuring he's on Niners out. So, we're going to go on ahead and start the game off. With, you know, getting Eric Dickerson loose. You know, nice little spin to the inside. Juke back out to the outside. We got ourselves a first down. Another spin right there. Break a tackle. That's what his ability is going to do for the first five plays. Back at it again with yet a run. Try to hit the outside. Now, I feel like this guy knew exactly who I was. I, I felt like, I mean, look at this play right here. He completely just smothered that playmaker. Completely smothered it smothered it and i'm like how did he know like there's just no no one on the first play ever just completely anticipates a perfect playmaker over the middle of the field i'm like how did i'm like okay maybe it's a coincidence i don't know now you know sometimes you know when someone i match up with they recognize me they'll send a message they'll be like oh snap gs appreciate the support man or appreciate the support i usually respond with appreciate support um they're like yo appreciate the vids man it's dope getting a chance to play you you know i've uh, been watching you for a while um, you know, let's get it in. Good luck, my man. And, you know, usually they'll acknowledge. They'll, you know, pause the game or send me a message and stuff like that. This guy did did not. But I really feel like he knew because he was just all over my offense. Like, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do it. He was all over. Like, he knew exactly what my offense was. And if you watch my videos, you know my offense. I come out and tie it off set. I got my playmaker drag that I like to do over the middle of the field. If you hard pursuit, I got my corner out. I got my check and release. I got my runs out of single back wing stack and out of pistol but he just knew everything he was just i mean you, I, I could understand if i shown it to him a few times and he made adjustments no 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 right off the rip before i even shown it to him he was already adjusting just stopping everything i said like, what the heck doesn't make sense the way he just perfectly played that play he's dion in the flesh no one ever covers that i played dreamy i played chaos i played some of the top players you know that you can possibly face in weekend league and pro players and, and they they do not cover the playmaker for the first few plays once they get a hang of what I'm doing. He just completely shot it down the first play. I'm like, okay, he knows something. I don't know what he knows, but he knows something. So right here, we hit our corner out on the left side. He's actually doing a very good job of using the middle of the field, and he's shutting down the run. He, he's just doing a good job right here. And uh, right here, Protected wasn't doing that good of a of a good job today, this game, because Armstead and this man, you can take a look on the left, and this man, uh, Ford, complete, they ate. Like, I was getting sacked left and right. Felt like I didn't even have Protected. Usually, which is why I have Eli, Protected does a pretty good job. I'm only sending out three routes, considering the check and release is blocking for a good majority of the time. He's only sending three or four, no pass rushing comes. And he's just completely just getting in, you know, pretty quickly without me, um, with me, excuse me, having protected. But anyways, that's neither here or there, right? We're down three. We stopped them. We get the ball back. Let's move the ball, right? And of course, as you guys know, ever since I got playmaker, I love passing the ball. But running is still a big part of my game, even though since playmaker has, look at, look at Dickerson, and he can't go, oh, hey, as we stumble on into the end zone, even though I, I'm still a very run-heavy person, but since playmaker has come out, I've actually transitioned more um, statistic-wise into, I pass more than I run the ball now, because, you know, playmaker just gives me so much more variety on offense. I can now, you know, check down. I can now hit the open parts of the field where I feel way more comfortable where before I couldn't, right? And right there, don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. And I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Like, I, my every time I came out to pass the ball, it's like he knew exactly what I wanted to do, and he just took it away. And I was shook. I was like, how does he know? 
How does he know? But he wasn't ready for the fired wide jet sweep, though. He wasn't ready for the touch pass, though. And look at a poof. Just completely <laughs> ran him over with the Tiger. That man, Tiger, that man Dickerson is going to be such a problem. He's going to be so good. With, whew, I might get him and Le'Veon. Just activate both of them. Forget rid of, get rid of Playmaker. Get rid of Eli. Just give me two evasive armbar guys and just let me wreck havoc. Let me do what it is I like to do in Warren Sapp. Just completely flushed him out of the pocket and he does get chased down by Shazier. We sent the house and again, we sent the house again, only enough time for one play. So we're not going to allow him to get anything unless he blocks eight, but we're sending sending the whole casa, the crib, the whole quinceanera. We sent everyone and we got to him. So we're up 14 through the at half. One thing, you know, this game is a lot about adjustments. Try to take away what your opponent is, you know, doing very well and try to continue doing what you're doing very well. And I'm not passing the ball pretty well at all. And right there, he threw directly at me. Like right there. I clicked on... <coughs> <coughs> about to pass out just in unbelievableness and he just threw it right at me i clicked on held y and got absolutely no animation i thought for sure that should not have happened but it is what it is don't get too upset about it unless he scores a touchdown then i'm gonna be pretty upset holding the three and we're still we feel like you know we're doing good so um here we go big third down and hey there goes those pass rushing cams man doing what they do just screamed off the left edge we hold him to three and that right there is important because it's still even though it makes it a one possession game, he has to score and he also needs to go for two. But I'm feeling more confident. He was shutting down my wing stack run. We went to I form close and we started doing very well from the stretch out of that run, which is this formation right here. And again, we're opening up some holes here. And Eric Dickerson is finally starting to get out in space and get to the second level where the first quarter, you know, first half really, I had trouble doing that. But I form close is again opening up the run. And allowing us to uh, hit the outside, even though it doesn't look like it on that play. <laughs> so second down, we end up, you know, calling another run. Eric Dickerson was tired. And it was like, you know, we're not too far out of field goal range. Let's just, you know, run the ball here. And we get a first down. Wasn't expecting it, but we'll take it. And right there, I completely should have spun right there. Second and 13, another run right here. And again, for the most part, he's doing a pretty good job of shutting everything down. We're going to take it to the fourth. And we're a field goal away of going back up two scores. So we're just going to run the ball. We're going to concede, right? There's no need to do anything crazy. And then we actually pick up the first down. I love those situations where I'm just conceding the the uh, possession. I'm just going to run the ball. I'm fine with one yards. I'm fine with two. I'm fine with getting stopped for, you know, fourth and inches. I'm just, you know, running the ball because I don't want to throw a pick. I don't want to get an incomplete pass to stop the clock. I'm just sacrificing the possession to, to you know, settle for three. And then we pick up the first down. Th those are the best. Those are... Absolutely the best. So we're going to wind time down, and then we're going to go on ahead and uh, take our three. And we are going to put minimal kick power. That way we can go on ahead and have a nice slow meter on the way back. No need to go all the way up top and have it come back faster than normal. Um, we're just going to go on ahead and, you know, take our easy three. Instead of going for it on fourth and inches, because in, in my uh, opinion, there's just no need to. No need to go for four extra points. Take the three. Go up two possessions, go back on defense. And for the most part, even though he just completely ran over me, for the most part, you know, the 5-2 has been doing a pretty good job against him. You know, um, he hasn't really done anything that has me too worried, except right there he blocked everyone very, very, very well. But finally, we end up getting someone to come through. And uh, right there, he goes deep, probably not the best play right there. We do have Night Train lane there, souped up with Niner Camp. And that right there is going to um, give him 99 zone. Um, nine, I think 99 man and 99 zone, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Richard Sherman has 99 zone as well. Rod Woodson has 99 zone as well. And now the fourth quarter, we're up two possessions. Like, all right, now let's start to pass the ball a little bit. Now we feel comfortable, even though he was just completely just there, just there on every single one of my passes. He just, I don't know. I felt like he knew, um, exactly what was coming because he, <laughs> he was just smothering me passing the ball the first, uh, first half. But, you know, back at it again, you know, uh, with the tight offset playmaker right up the middle. He over pursued to the left just a little too much. And that right there allowed my man to, uh, have space to playmaker up and get a, a nice, easy touchdown. Again, with Slotomatic. I am thinking about the one thing that gets boring with Eli Manning is that I'm forced to use specific receivers because I need them to have playmaker, right? I have to use either Michael Thomas or Torrey Holt or Marvin Harrison or 
um, Jerry Rice. I can't use, you know, Randy Moss or T.O. because they don't get playmaker. Um, so I'm probably going to get rid of Eli as I do every other week because I feel like I just want to switch things up. I want different receivers to be able to run that drag playmaker, you know, so I'm probably going to switch to Mahomes at some point, And that way I can activate Moss. I can activate T.O. I can activate Joshua Cribs, whoever it is I want. You know, I can actually activate different players um, because QB playmaker allows me to playmaker anyone. So I'm probably going to bring back. Living like Larry, bring back the goon Larry Fitzgerald, have some fun with him, and um, probably go to Mahomes because he has 99 throw power. And yeah, we won't have protected, it sucks, but we do have Playmaker, which allows me to um, utilize different receivers. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's your boy Jess. We're going to go ahead and be signing out, man. Hit that like button if you guys made it this far in the video. Helps more than you guys know and is definitely motivational, man. The more likes I see, the more I want to bring you guys content. Until next time, appreciate the love and support. As always, peace!